Hey guys, my name is Arezus V, and today, uh, it's a bit of a more shorter video, but that's because there's something, um, that happened a bit. Well, like, nothing bad happened, except I did an experiment with a friend of mine. So I have a friend named Spolicity, uh, and basically, she happens to be a good trader, even though she's really, no even though I don't think she's ever had any limiteds before, but, uh, oddly enough, she's pretty good at trading and calculating and stuff like that. I don't, I've never taught her anything, but she just knows no. So I decided, hey, uh, I will give you some Robux, and if you can give me some good deals, then I'll be, then you can make it worth it. And that's what she did. So she basically traded for me for like a couple of days, and I will show you the trades that she got done, which are actually some, actually got, she got some pretty insane trades. Well, not like way too insane, but she got some pretty good trades done, and I gave her some Robux for that. And uh, not only that, uh, she actually. Uh, we actually, I got, actually got some more Robux, and uh, we bought, I bought some stuff, and I will show you in this video what items that I bought, and whatnot. So, uh, the first item that I did buy with my Robux, I had like around 5k, but I bought Comrade for, uh, I think it was like 2,000, yeah, 2,000 Robux, I don't, I don't remember that much, but I, I bought it for like 2,000 Robux, and the reason I bought Comrade is because, first of all, I love this hat, again, and if you play Electric State, I like the old map, and this hat, I would always wear this in Beta and Alpha. Well, no, just Beta, because I didn't own this hat in Alpha. So this gives me good vibes of that game, so that's why I bought this hat. And plus, it's a good 2K stable hat, and it's a wrap item, so that's exactly what I bought. You can see that it literally just stays around 2K, like even back here, it just stays around 2K. It just never goes under, never goes above. Well, sometimes it does, like over here, during like the Depression and whatnot, so yeah. Uh, the item, so, uh, Spolicity chose this for me, she's like, hey, yo, buy this item, it's selling for 1.1k, you should really buy this, because no one, like, for some random reason, anyone who has, like, any of the dancing items or the lull items doesn't want to trade them for some random reason, and this was selling pretty low, so she's like, hey, you should buy this, and I bought it with my Robux, so, yeah, on her account, but, yeah, that's what I did, and it's selling, it's selling low once again, so someone should definitely buy that price, but, yeah. And then the third item that I bought was not another Golden Gate Bridge, no. I bought Key's Vengeance Launcher because look at, at the resellers. Look at how sus these resellers are. Like, what? Huh. Wow, someone should definitely project this lol. But, yeah, and, uh, either way, Key's Vengeance Launcher looks pretty cool, I guess. It's, I mean, it's a peanut butter launcher. I'm not a fan of peanut butter, but I like, I like peanuts, but I don't know. I just like it. I like those angry jars of peanut butter. So yeah, and then Keith apparently one of the admins likes this, and then yeah, and then the reason why I opened up a page for Golden Gate Bridge is like, bruh, bruh, this thing like, it just got LPP'd. It literally just got LPP'd, and literally people keep LPPing this. Look at this, one thousand, one thousand, one, one point four. I mean, jeez, bro, this got to one point eight k wrap, and this thing was pretty much selling for. This thing was selling for, like, after it got projected by, like, Billabot over here, it, it was selling for 5k. Like, just let it sell for 5k now. But, yeah, it's been selling for around 2k, but, like, people just keep selling. Uh, this right here, though, I will let this person off because uh, my friend Wolf, if you know him, he's a really good friend of mine, Wolf Blocks. He's actually, he actually did something uh, very interesting. Hold up, let me search him up. Okay. So, he changed his name again. Wolf, stop changing your name. Oh my gosh, bro. Um, but there's a reason he sold both of it. He had, he got like two golden gate bridges and what he did is he's got like zero wrap right now, but he sold all of his limiteds and he got violet valve for it. So I don't know. He says he's going to probably start trading again. I don't know, but that's why he sold golden gate bridge for one K and that kind of, I just didn't want him to sell it, but I guess he had to do what he got to do to get sales, but whatever, I guess, but Yeah. Um, then let's go over some trades that we did. Here's the first pretty big trade that we did. So, someone offered, uh, someone offered her, uh, Violet Fang and Red Dragon for Bright Presence, and went, and she accepted this without question. She didn't even ask me, and I was like, oh, that's a pretty nice trade. Honestly, I probably would have done this. I mean, Violet Fang is like 18k, so, um, pretty much already getting a 4k value, and I know I'm a rap trader, but like, Bro, I'm all right. like I was losing 500 in a wrap. Now I'm winning 500. No, well, now I'm winning 200 in wrap. Basically 300 wrap, and I'm winning so much in value right now. Like 18, 19, like 19. I'm winning like 
what, 5k in value here? That was just a 5k for free. And this thing has 122 copies left, so I'm not too uh, unhappy. But I could always give Violet Fang for some random wrap item. And uh, I actually, she actually did a good trade with this. I'll show you in a bit. Um, so she was like, uh, she like uh, messaged me. And she was like, hey, yo, Spellify, do you like Ochre Helm, Lord of the Fire Dragon? I searched it up, and I was like, oh, I guess it's a cool item. I mean, I've seen this item before, and really, no one wanted to trade this, whoever had it. So she's like, I'll give, Ro I got a, I got an offer. I'll give, I could give Roebling for this. And I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead. She accepted the trade, and I got this nice item. Uh, the next trade we did is I gave Red Ultimate Dragon Face for Geography Textbooks. Now, you might be cringing, but like, oh, bro, you really got a Geography Textbook. Now, now, hold up a second. The reason she accepted this is because, believe it or not, this random textbook has like 380 copies left. Literally almost a, basically a semi-rare. Not a true one, but she accepted the trade because, because this is a semi-rare. The person like asked her why she wanted, why she wanted geography, and she was like, rap. So, very sneaky. But, yeah, she did this trade. I'm really happy. Red Dragon has been raising, but still, we had to get the semi-rare. I don't see geography textbook that much. I keep confusing this for geometry textbook. Does that even exist? I don't even know if it exists. Okay. Next trade she did, she gave the really bad Sparkle Time hoverboard and Tasteless for Locksmith and Lady, which I've never owned Lady before. I guess it looks fine. I mean, honestly, those colors could be a lot better. But, I mean, sure, I don't care. This is a nice trade. I'm glad she did this trade. And then, uh, so for this trade, uh, I helped this guy out. Uh, shout out to Farmer Joel. He also has a, he has an he has an account he has a main, he has a main account called Arwin but like I helped this I helped him out and he gave me some stuff in return so we both got what we wanted so uh, again very shout shout out to you for some uh, stuff here and I'm glad I helped you I'm glad we both got what we wanted and then the last trade that I did here and she she hit she hit me up again and she was like yo Spellfee do you like Ivory Line and I was like oh yeah bro Ivory Line bro this hat looks so awesome if you don't like Ivory Line it, if you like Ivory Run, you should hit the subscribe button. And she was like, okay, so I got a sneaky trade here. Do you like Skater and Alien Burn? I was like, nah, I don't like those items. I mean, I just got Skater because that was his highest hat he was willing to offer me for uh, the deed that we I did. And she was like, okay, so I can do, I'm, I'm pretty sure Overseer, so she's told me that Overseer was at 1.6, and she and it was selling for like 2K. And she was like, I'm pretty sure this thing gets a lot of sales, and this thing might go up. And she's like, can I give Skater and Alien Burn for Ivory and Overseer? Because uh, the guy will accept the the guy will most likely accept because I'm overpaying right now. But if I'm correct, Overseer will probably raise. And I was like, yeah, sure, do it. And lo and behold, the next day I'm winning rap. Overseer climbs 200 rap, and yeah, so literally sneaky trade that she did there. So very thankful for that. So um, after that, I gave her some Robux so she could customize her avatar. So we both really got what we wanted. I might do this again in the future. But yeah, we did a lot of profit. We got like three limiteds, and we got some pretty nice stuff. She did these four trades within an hour, which is what I was very happy. She got four trades within an hour, and one of them was a huge value win. So, like, this is just very great. I'm really glad that she uh, helped me out, and I will pro I might or might not do this in the future again, but uh, if you want to go follow her account, her name is Spilicity, and... Uh, Thank you guys for watching. It's been Larry's V. I will see you guys later. Peace.